Here's something that happens sometimes with a drag and drop question in Storyline. We've inserted some objects here on this slide and we've converted the slide to a free form drag and drop question. But now that we're looking at it in preview mode, when I interact with the slide by moving these post-its to the drop targets, see how they're all kind of stacking up on top of each other within each target? And that really makes it hard to read anything except you know the top one that I've placed on the pile. And I would have to move these out of the way again if I wanted to see what's underneath. Well, in some interactions that's fine, but in this case I really don't want the post-its to snap into a pile like that. I want the learner to be able to stack them on the targets without necessarily overlapping them. And I want them to be able to see the text if they want to. Well, this is a really easy thing to change, and here's how we do it. On my drag and drop question, I'm going to come up here to the upper right and click the Edit Drag and Drop button. And this is going to open up the question editor for our slide. Now when you first convert a slide to a freeform drag and drop, the drop target options that you see are going to look something like this. This, this box next to Snap Dropped Items to Drop Target is going to be marked. And this drop down is going to say Stack Random. And that's what's causing those shapes to stack up in that kind of you know staggered pile. So what I'm going to do here is change this to free. And that means that each drop item is going to stay where the learner puts it on the target. There won't be that offset pile. And that way learners will still be able to you know, read the post-its if they need to. So let's go ahead and preview this and see how it would behave. So our post-its are going to come into view. And now we can move them to the targets. And they're going to land wherever I put them. I can rearrange them. I can move them around a little bit. And that way I can see all the text. And of course, if I wanted to overlap them, I could certainly do it. But it's really easy for me to move them back you know, into a different arrangement so I can see exactly what I'm working with. So that's how you turn off that automatic stacking of your drag and drop items on a freeform question in Storyline.